What's going on, Diesel World Reaction? This your boy Juan Diesel, and I'm back with another video. This is called 10 Celebrities That Owe Their Careers to Elvis Presley. Before we get started, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification. Let's get into it. Actors who owe their careers to Elvis. The world knew him as the king of rock and roll, but it turns out that Elvis Presley had a pretty good eye when it came to co-stars who'd go on to achieve greater fame in later life. Elvis starred in 31 movies during his lifetime and worked with many different co-stars. Here are 10 actors you probably would not have guessed had shared the screen with The King. Walter Matthau in King Creole. Eight years before Walter Matthau received an Oscar nomination for his role in The Fortune Cookie and a full decade before The Odd Couple made him a star, the actor starred in this early Presley movie playing an abusive boyfriend to Elvis's love interest and a character saddled with the unfortunate sure nickname of The too. Pig. I'd like to hear you. Go on up there and sing a song about it. Now? Yeah, now. Right now. Clearly, yes. things could only get better for him. But what about that love interest? Carolyn Jones, King Creole. Yes, the girl that Elvis had his eyes on turned out to be none other than the woman who, six years later, would become better known as Morticia Adams on The Adams Family. When we're together, darling, every night is Halloween. <laughs> Barbara Eden, Flaming Star. Eden landed this role as a replacement for Barbara Steele midway through filming. She wasn't alone in being a replacement. Presley himself got the role following Frank Sinatra having been linked to it. Considering that Andy Warhol used stills from this movie to create Double Elvis, think about how different pop art could have been if Sinatra had been involved. Charles Bronson, Kid Galahad. Long before Bronson became synonymous with New York vigilantism in the Death Wish series, the actor was a bit part player in the little-known Elvis movie about a former soldier finding success as a boxer. But Bronson wasn't the only future star to pop up in this movie. Ed Asner, King Galahad, and Change of Habit. Lou Grant was some distance away when Asner made the first of two screen appearances with Presley. In addition to Kid Galahad, he also showed up in 1969's Amazing Change of Habit. You'd be forgiven for missing him in Galahad, however. He's uncredited in his role as assistant DA Frank Gerson. Terry Garr, Kissin' Cousins, and Clambake. Years before Terry Garr became known for roles in Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Tootsie, and Young Frankenstein, she appeared in uncredited bit parts in not one, but two Elvis movies. Also making an appearance in Kissin' Cousins was a pre-Batman Yvonne Craig, Bill Bixby, Clambake, and Speedway. When Bill Bixby appeared in Clambake, the first of two Presley movies he showed up in, with the other being Speedway, The Incredible Hulk was just a comic book character, and even the courtship of Eddie's father was just an idea in the back of a writer's brain. I had your income tax made out by a reliable man. You're looking me straight in the eye, that means you're lying. Uh. Corbin Burnson, Clambake. Bill Bixby wasn't the only familiar face to show up in Clambake, although it's unlikely you'd recognize future L.A. law star Corbin Burnson in his first on-screen appearance. His is an uncredited role as Boy at Playground. Dick Sargent, live a little, love a little. When Dick Sargent played Harry in one of Elvis's final movies, Dick York was still Darren on television's Bewitched. It would be another year before the actor would step into York's shoes. Dabney Coleman, The Trouble with Girls. Dabney Coleman's role in this film was his first in a high profile movie. Sadly for Coleman, his character gets killed off rather early, leaving him plenty of time to move on to other roles. That's all for today. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe, folks.